Hello from CNN London. I'm Monita Rajpal. This is World Report. Australia's national airline has halted all flights with its flagship plane, the Airbus A380, a Qantas super jumbo made an emergency landing a few hours ago. One of its four engines was shut down not long after takeoff in Singapore with part of the engine cover ripped off midair. Qantas CEO Alan Joyce had this to say. I actually do think that people will recognize that Qantas takes safety so seriously. The 80 is the largest passenger jet in operation. It is very first commercial flight took to the skies back in October 2007. Since then, fuel and computer glitches have grounded several planes. In November 2009, at least one Air France flight was forced to turn around, though in question was just two years old. According to Qantas CEO Alan Joyce, the airline says it won't fly any of its uh, six A380s that it operates until it has worked out what went wrong. We'll see, and as Richard Quest joins us now with his perspective on this. Of course, you know, the first question people are going to ask is, you know, what actually happened? And I think to look at that, we basically, right. what... Did so safely with no one injured at all. Richard Quest, thank you very much for that. Now, uh, take a look at uh, these uh, angry passengers in India. We want to switch gears a little bit. The Greek government says uh, parcel bombs targeting embassies in Greece and officials across Europe are not related to groups like Al-Qaeda. Authorities say two suspects arrested in the case are domestic terrorists. With Welcome back to World Report. We want to update you now on the situation about the Qantas Airbus A380 that uh, made a safe but emergency landing in a Singapore airport. We do have a statement now from uh, the uh, A3, from Airbus, I should say. The Airbus spokesman, uh, Justin Dubon, confirms to CNN, I'm just going to read this straight from the statement, that a Qantas A380 returned safely back to Singapore. Uh, the Singaporean authorities have launched an official investigation, and these will be led, led by the Australian Transport Safety Bureau. The ATSB. Um, Airbus, they say, is providing full technical assistance and is dispatching a technical team to Singapore, where Airbus uh, ha already has resident technical personnel. Once again, that was just a statement from the Airbus uh, spokesperson confirming what we do already know, that the A380 uh, that, was, uh, had to, that had to make an emergency landing in Singapore. It was bound for uh, Sydney, but had to make an emergency landing in, in uh, Singapore after the engine uh, uh, blew apart. We don't know why, we don't know how, but of course we, as soon as we get that information we will get that to you. An Al-Qaeda group in Iraq says Christians everywhere are, in its words, legitimate targets. It's another threat of violence after the weekend massacre at a Catholic church in Baghdad. 58 people were killed during that attack. CNN's Arwa Damon has this report from Baghdad. A hurricane warning has been issued as tropical storm Tomas closes in on Haiti. Meteorologist Jennifer Delgado is tracking that for us from the World Weather Center. Jen. Hi, Manita, you're right. It's located about 300 kilometers southeast of Jamaica, and it's already starting to make it. All this month, iList is setting its sights on Asia. This week, we're focusing on Malaysia. The country is strong on tradition, but its culture is a blend of influences from its neighbors, China and India. Dan Rivers shows us how one group is using dance to highlight the country's diversity. And I'm Onita Rajpal in London. World Sport is next.